Okay. Just breathe. Okay. Hey, y'all. Um, you know, I, 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 um, okay, no, 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 no. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Aisha, and I am back with another video. If it's your first time joining my channel, welcome. And if you've been rocking with me, welcome back. Here on my channel, we get into all things faith, business, and lifestyle in today's video. Okay. We are going to get into something that I have prolonged filming, but if you struggle with speaking in front of the camera, you're shy when it comes to filming, recording, going live, Zoom, Skype, anything else that requires you to speak in front of a camera, webcam, your phone, whatever, this video is for you, cause baby, listen, having camera presence is necessary for so many things, especially the world that we live in. And just to give you guys a little, a little background, a little backing on me, so I have been doing YouTube for three, three years and some change okay like november of 2017 up until now and baby when i first started i might just go ahead i might include a little clip of one of my oldest oldest videos because y'all it is so real to be shy in front of the camera especially when it's new to you and it's something that's not familiar because i have never okay the position that i'm in now where i can just come in front of the camera talk do whatever it is that i need to do is because i've done it and i've been in the game for a good amount of time but when i first started i was very nervous i even went to great lengths you guys like i used to literally write out verbatim what it is that i wanted to say on the video and i would study it and memorize it and it forced me to do so many takes so many cuts when i got to editing the video and stuff because i would forget something or i was having to continuously stop the camera when i would forget the next thing it was that i wanted to say versus now i can freehand okay like i will come in front of the camera pray lord whatever you want me to say like just let it be said okay so i am definitely not a natural if that makes sense okay some people they just got it but me i was not one of those people but i just want to do some i guess some little exercises of things when i was trying to get comfortable when i was trying to get comfortable speaking in front of the camera because i think it will help you guys and then i'm gonna give you guys some tips some things that you can try to boost that confidence okay like Come on, I want you guys to be able to go live, get on Zoom, film YouTube videos, whatever it is that technology is permitting us to do, I want you guys to be more comfortable in doing it, okay? So I said all of that to say, so I am about to get into a character, all right? So this is me, you know, I'm filming, I'm not really, you know camera, video recording friendly or whatever, so this is me, okay? Okay, just breathe. Okay. Hey, y'all. Um, you know, I, 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 um, okay, no, 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 no. Let's try it again. What's up? You, oh, no, that's not it. Okay. All right. How did those one people. Okay. What's up, y'all? Mm, uh, mm, no. Okay. Mm, back to Aisha. Back to Aisha. Okay, I want you guys pause that video. Just pause this video. If you know three things that I did wrong already. One, body language. Two, lack of confidence. Three, trying to think of something that somebody else has done and trying to execute it on camera for my own video. No, 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 no. Instead, the very first thing that you can always do, whether it is going to be a vlog, whether it's gonna be a topic-based video where you're teaching somebody how to do something, pre-plan your content, okay? And when I say that, not just the video title, the video idea, but make a mental note and a physical note if it's helpful for you of some things that you can speak on in that video okay so sometimes like if i'm going to be doing a video where i'm teaching or educating you guys on something something that's meant to be informational 
I will literally write down some notes and notes in my phone or I'll write it down on paper some points that I would like to hit on in that video okay so that keeps me on track that makes me um not get too off track when I'm speaking or trying to provide information things to help you guys out because I wrote it down beforehand okay so that is the very first thing that you can pre-plan your content Another thing that you can do, so if you notice the out of character me, I was very like nervous and everything just seemed to kind of go wrong, you know? Like I, I didn't, I wasn't ready. So I was just already allowing my mind to take over what I wanted to come out of my mouth, okay? So the next thing that I wanna encourage you guys to do, clear your mind. Okay, when you are getting ready to film a video, go live, get on Zoom, get on Skype, clear your mind so that you can focus all of your time, all of your energy, all of your attention on the subject. Okay, the subject being whatever it is that you're about to speak about on YouTube, Zoom, Skype, IG Live, whatever. Focus, okay? Just focus because when you cancel out those distractions, you have a clear mind. If you're able to um, film in a space where you don't have like other people around and stuff, that is also helpful because you can kind of just block out all of the extra noise, okay? So if you have the opportunity to get by yourself and film, do so. And it's also a confidence booster, okay? And it kind of um, deepens your comfort level because say if I had five people surrounding me right now as I'm filming this video, I don't but I would be a little less comfortable to really step into it, okay, if all eyes are on me. Some people like to do things, they feel like they execute things better when it is just them, okay? That could be girls, like when they're doing their makeup, like me, if I'm doing my makeup or hair, not to really get off topic, but I like to be like just in the bathroom by myself, you know, as opposed to other people being around watching. I don't know why, but that's just how I am. Okay, so that is another thing. The third thing, listen, you want your personality to shine through. You want to be able to be unique in your efforts and how you present, um, speak, how you vlog, I don't know, whatever your situation is, do not, do not, do not, do not look at somebody's video or you idolize somebody's camera presence and try to be them. It's not going to come out natural. You're not going to execute it properly because that ain't you. And you want people to appreciate you for you. Okay, so you can look at these other YouTubers. You can look at all the TED Talks and all this kind of stuff. It's okay to admire them or you can admire somebody's presence, but do not try to be them. Okay, it's gonna come out fake. When you're delivering um, a video or you're just sitting in front of the camera, like you want it to come off as genuine as possible. So that is a big, like, don't try to be nobody else. Like, be you, be you, okay? Another thing, another thing. So aside from, I think I've given you guys three things already. pre plan your content, clear your mind, don't try to be anyone else. And then, so here's a fourth little tidbit. Every time that you sit in front of the camera, okay? Especially when you're starting out, in, in 10 to 15 second intervals, or 10 seconds to 30 seconds, film yourself. It can literally be something as simple as an introduction. Hello, I'm Aisha Nicole, and today I'm going to be speaking to you about blah, blah, blah. All right? You know, just as an example. Now, I say do that in different windows like that, saying different things just so that you can have not a lot of footage to review, but as you're getting comfortable and you're getting in the habit of watching yourself on camera, it's a good way, a good, quick and easy way to just watch, you know, your body language or how you said a certain word or how your energy is coming off in that video before you actually film a whole 10 plus minute long video and you hate it because you were like this or you weren't, you know, sitting up straight, you know? And I personally, I personally still do that on some occasions just because I wanna make sure, I don't know, the quality looked nice or I wanna make sure that, you know, my energy wasn't 
off or my tone of voice was projecting clearly or whatever. So I think that is definitely helpful because you can kind of see what it is that you want to tweak and some things that you may want to change when you're in the execution or the production of a full length video, for instance. So these tips, where am I on time? All right, not too bad. So I think these tips could definitely, definitely help you guys. Um, and another thing, another thing, don't overthink it. Do not overthink it. What I don't want you guys, don't make the same mistakes that I did. If you are ever going to give a, um, a video sharing knowledge or information, don't write it out word for word, verbatim, and try to memorize it. It will take you forever. It will drive you nuts. And then by the time you get done watching that video and you see that it looked like you were trying to memorize it, you're going to be like, throw the whole video away. So I just want you guys to just take some time and pr practice these exercises. You know, like they're very, very helpful. Like when you have a clear mind, a clear space, you're in a place with no distractions. You continue to perform a self-evaluation based off of like your 10 to 15 or 30 second intervals of that presence and things like we're our own biggest critic we're our greatest critic and i definitely think that watching yourself over and over again is going to serve you so advantageously one because it's you you know what you want to look like on camera you know how you like to sound on camera you know the manner of how you'd want to present yourself on camera like nobody knows you better than you and a last tidbit keep in mind who your audience is going to be sometimes it can relieve you know that discomfort if it's going to be something that's more informal such as like an ig live or a girl group on zoom you guys are having a zoom party or whatever just let your hair down and talk to them as if it was a regular a regular conversation Versus if you are doing a public speaking engagement or something where you're having to give a virtual presentation on something for school. In that sense, okay, you know that may go to a professor or some person who's needing to learn from you. So you're going to have to be mindful of how you present yourself because now you just need to have the mindset, okay, I need to be professional or this is an informal setting. I can just be me. You know, look at that as FaceTime versus a public speaking engagement, for instance. You know that you would carry yourself in two different ways because one's informal versus being formal. All right, so those are some things that I want you guys to try for sure. And I hope this video helps somebody, anybody out there because I want you guys to kill it. We are living in a virtual world nowadays and you're gonna need to build your camera presence. Simple as that, okay? But share this video with a family member or friend. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, subscribe, please. I would love for you guys to support me. But anyways, thank you guys so much for always supporting whatever it is I choose to do with my channel. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. Mwah!